welcome back to another video welcome back to the channel if you are new hi my name is shani thank you so much for clicking to watch this video so in today's video i'm going to be doing my silk press routine my kinky curly to straight routine my hair is super stretched right now because it was straight but i wasn't feeling it being straight anymore so i just added some water to my ponytail but this is how my hair is looking but yeah this is this is the hair um it is dirty so if you guys see flakes my bad so let's go ahead and get in the shower all right so i'm starting off in the shower with my wash and conditioning and detangling process so i'm just wetting my hair with the water first and then once i get my hair all drenched with the water i'm going to go in with my Aussie Moist um, three minute conditioner. I think that's what it's called. But I like to condition my hair first because in the process of my hair reverting back to its curly state, it can sometimes get tangled in that process of shrinking back to its curly state. So I like to start the detangling process right then and there so that my hair is always at a relaxed state or a stretched state. So I'm just gonna go through and put the conditioner in my hair and I'm also going to use my tangle teaser brush and detangle my hair. And then to keep my hair detangled, I'm just gonna keep it parted in two sections and twist it out of the way. Now, I do want you guys to be mindful that these video clips are sped up i do not work this fast on my hair and just to show you guys how slow i do work in the shower <laughs> the video is in real time now um yeah I, pr I work pretty slowly but still swiftly if that makes sense and i also like to make sure there's no knots so if there is a knot i don't rip through the knots i just go back up and try to um detangle it out without ripping through my hair i really i don't like ripping through my hair at all because Girl, I really don't got that much hair, so I'm not trying to rip through nothing and I'm trying to retain as much length as possible and I don't want too much shedding. So as you guys can see, once I get everything detangled, and basically what detangled means to me is when I can brush through my hair without it getting caught. If I can brush through it and it's smooth sailing, then that's when I'll go ahead and twist it up, put it in a bun, and then move on to the next process, which is shampooing. Okay, so the first shampoo that I like to use is this Kira Care Anti-Dandruff Moisturizing Shampoo. Yes, I said this is the first shampoo I use because I do go in with two shampoos and they do different things. And this one helps with the dandruff and um, the flaky scalp. It also helps to moisturize my hair. Well, not my hair, but I feel like it helps to moisturize my scalp, um, which is what I want to do when it comes to wearing my hair straight. Because me personally, I do not oil my scalp every single day when my hair is straight because it's just going to make my hair oily. I don't, I don't do that. I don't know if this is wrong or not. I'm not a hairstylist or anything like that. I just do what works for my hair or how I want my hair to look. And I specifically like to use this for my scalp just to get all that buildup off, the flakiness and to moisturize and it feels good. And it also helps to cleanse all the gunk off of my hair strands. So that's the first shampoo. I like to lift my hair up, get to my scalp. And this technique just allows my hair to stay detangled because I don't want to tangle it up again even though i am going to go through and keep detangling my hair so as you guys can see i like to shampoo my hair in sections four sections at that and then while i'm working on one section i just pull my hair outward and then scratch my scalp and then once i'm done shampooing that section of hair i'll twist it out of the way and move on to the next section of hair and this prevents me having to detangle it so much at the end of my um shampoo so while i am shampooing my hair that's when i i'm i'm literally just detangling my hair the whole time i'm shampooing and conditioning if that makes sense For my second shampoo, I like to use the Mane & Tail Deep Moisturizing Shampoo. And as you guys can see, my hair does look a lot fuller. In my opinion, that's when I feel like my hair is accepting the shampoo and is cleansed properly. So it usually only takes me about two washes or two shampoos to get my scalp and my hair strands clean. Moving into conditioner, I'm using the Mane & Tail Deep Moisturizing Conditioner. And I'm going to start off by putting the conditioner on my ends 
and then move my way up to my roots and I tend to use a lot of conditioner because I just feel like my hair needs it so I'm just gonna keep cutting my hair with the conditioner and then I'll go through and section my hair off in fours and then I'm also going to run through each section to make sure it's still detangled and twisted out of the way while the conditioner is still in my hair And then once I have made it through every section of my hair, coating it with conditioner, I'm going to put this plastic bag over my hair so that the conditioner can penetrate and sink into my hair. And while I give the conditioner time to sit in my hair and sink in, I'm going to clean my brush and take like a 20 minute shower. As you guys can see, you can't see the conditioner sitting on top of my hair anymore. So I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse my conditioner out. And at this point in my routine, my hair feels super nourished and moisturized, but it also does feel clean. And that's what I look for because I don't want a lot of product sitting on my hair strands because that's gonna affect how flowy my hair is once I do get to the blow drying and straightening process. You wanna rinse everything out of your hair. Don't have any excess product in your hair. If it hasn't sunk in and synced into your hair strands, it's not going to do much but weigh down your hair. And this is also when I detangle my hair, well, quote unquote detangle, because it's already detangled. The brush is just helping get everything out of my hair, but this is another form of detangling. I'm just keeping my strands as stretched as possible and I'll just twist my hair up and put it in a bun and then move on to the next section until I am done and then after this that's when we get into the heat protecting and blow drying and straightening and all that good stuff I'm just gonna dry it a little bit. And then I'm just going to spray some of the one you know spray all over. I don't like to put a lot of this in my hair because if I do that, it's just going to be too much product. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit of the satin wear. <gasps> that is way too much way too much <laughs> oh wow i need to put this back in the bottle okay i'm gonna take some of the satin wear and put that like on my roots but i'm pretty much just putting it all over and like raking it through and then i'm just going to twist it right back up because I don't want it to start to shrink up because if my hair does that it's just going to make it more difficult for me to blow it out and I try to get this done as quick as possible even though this is not a quick process try to make sure everything is coated Twist it back up until I'm about to blow out that section. And the reason why I like to use a little bit of product is because a little bit honestly goes a long way. And if I put too much of the product in my hair, it's going to weigh it down. So if it feels like there's too much product, um, I just try to disperse it throughout my whole head. The hair is all coated now i'm gonna go ahead and blow out my hair got the dimming brush and i'm gonna start with the back side first so i'm just gonna take this out and it's already split in two but i don't like splitting it that way i'm just gonna split it this way 
and everything is already pretty much detangled if i need to detangle it again i'll just run the dim and brush through it so as you guys can see every it's detangled and the products that i put in it just helps it just helps it stay detangled if that makes sense so yeah all of the detangling i do in the shower really helps and then once i get out of the shower the products that i put in it helps maintain the stretch and it just keeps it detangled so i'm gonna go ahead and start blow drying my hair out all right so i just like to make sure it's detangled and then i'll pull the brush under and then my thumb is holding it where it needs to be and then i just have the rest of my hair in a ball or in a fist and then i take the blow dryer and just do the tension method and then once this part of my hair is dry i'll take it down until the rest of my hair is dry So this is the first section, blow dry it and after I finish blow drying it, I'll just clip it out the way. Alright, so we have that part out of the way and this is the section that I'm going to be blow drying. Um, like I said, I try to hurry up and do this so I don't section it in small sections when I'm blow drying it. But if your hair is thicker, I would recommend to, to um, section it in smaller sections because um, it's not going to get as straight. Since my hair isn't that thick and it's on the thin side, I can get away with doing this. So. At the end of the day, this is just what works for my hair, and I just wanted to show you guys. So, yeah. side blow dried I like my ends need to be clipped yeah this one side <laughs> I can't turn all right so this is one side done now I'm just gonna go ahead and move to this side and I'm gonna do it off camera so hopefully I explained everything good so you guys can understand it if I keep looking here it's because I'm looking at the viewfinder so yeah, um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do this side off camera and I will be right back. Now that my hair is all blow dried out, it's time to straighten and this process goes by pretty quick. So I'm going to part my hair down the middle and I'm going to be chasing my flat iron with a comb or chasing the comb with a flat iron. I kind of do it in both ways but I just use the chasing method to straighten my hair I kind of go over my roots probably like one two three times and then I just pass through the rest of my hair once um, the reason why I go over my roots multiple times like two to three times is because that's new hair so it can kind of handle the heat but I also like to make sure that my roots are getting as straight as possible and then the rest of my hair um, gets pretty straight with one pass and I'm straightening my hair at 430 degrees and then I'm just going to continue the same process throughout my whole head until I am done.
All right, so the hair is straightened out. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and put some curls in it with my flat iron, my old flat iron. This is a pure cold flat iron that I got years, literally years ago. If you guys are coming from my old video or if you guys know me from my first kinky curly to straight routine, this is the same flat iron. And honestly, these are all the same products that I used in that video. Let's go ahead and curl. I already put the frizzes mist in my hair and I put a little bit, like not a lot at all because my hair gets oily very fast. Like, I'm gonna show you guys. A little tiny amount. I don't even know if y'all can see that. So yeah, let's go ahead and curl and then wrap. And I'm curling everything away from my face. All right, so this is how the curls are looking before I do the little soap press. And I like it. This is cute. You know. All right, so I have my blow dryer and I usually do this for about five minutes. I don't do it longer than that because I start to sweat. So I just do it for like five minutes on and off and I just keep going around in a circle, which you guys will see. And yeah, let's just go ahead and start. It is 5.15 in the morning. If you guys can see that. Okay, there we go. 5.15 in the morning. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start. y'all so this is the finished product this is the finished look i really like how it came out and i hope you guys enjoyed the video as well if you did go ahead and give me a thumbs up comment down below and i will see you guys in my next video